welcome to another episode of Things That Take Me Off, Airport and Airplane Edition. Okay, first off, I can't handle how hardcore security is. Like, I understand they're trying to make sure no dangerous people and dangerous weapons come onto the plane, but like seriously, one time I brought like one of those long toothpaste bottles that are like this long, and they seriously like took it away and threw it in the garbage, and I like started freaking out, so then they're like, see, that's exactly why we took it away. It's evidence right there because you started freaking out that you had a weapon hiding in your toothpaste. And he said it with a serious face, like, a weapon? Do you really think I'm hiding a weapon in my toothpaste? Oh, let me go get my bomb and stick it in my toothpaste before I go to the airport. Who does that? And this is Canada. Like, we don't even own bombs. We just have polar bears. Like, like if I wanted to attack someone, I'd release my polar bear at them. Like, we don't own any dangerous weapons up here. Why do they not allow bottles of water when you're going through, like, security? I don't understand. Like, okay. I have like a full bottle of water and they take it away. And then at the end, like this one time, I saw all the bottles of water being dumped out in the garbage. Like all the ones that had to be left behind. Did you know there's like no clean water in Africa? You're dumping all that away. If you're not going to let us keep it, at least do something with it. Send it to Africa. Don't dump it in the garbage. <sighs> it's water. We're not going to hide a gun in water. You can see through it. This one doesn't necessarily make me mad, but like when you go through like those metal detector things, I know I have no metals on me, I took my belt off, I have all my money out, but then I feel like all of a sudden there is like metal all over me and I feel like I'm guilty and then when I'm walking through I'm just like crossing my fingers hoping that it doesn't go off. It's like, please don't go off. Going through customs also scares me. Okay, like my most recent trip was to San Francisco. On my way back, the customs was looking over my sheet, and on the part where I asked what I bought with the money I brought, I said that I bought a pair of vans and eight pairs of socks. And the guy didn't believe me. He was like, why would you go to San Francisco and only buy socks? And he was questioning me, and I didn't know what to say, and I started hyperventilating because I just felt so guilty, even though I really only bought a pair of shoes and eight pairs of socks. Because they were kids' socks, okay? I bought some hamburger socks. And they were hardcore. And he was just like questioning me for like 10 minutes going off. He even had to get another security guy to confirm that I actually bought socks. And it, oh my god, like, oh, I hate customs because they're always asking you questions that make you feel like you're a criminal, even though you're probably not. Okay, it seems like every time I go to the airport, my gate is the furthest gate from airport security. Like, no matter where I go, every single time I'm at the furthest gate and I walk for like 20 minutes getting there. Like, thank god for those, like, flat escalator things because if it weren't for those I'd be walking a thousand miles a day and that's enough exercise I need for the rest of my life. Moving on to what takes me off about airplanes. So when I recline my seat it seems like it only goes back like a centimeter so I'm literally moving back like that much. And then the person in front of me somehow their seat can recline 10,000 meters backwards while I have like a drink and food and it just slam backwards and everything spills everywhere and it's just oh. Why does your seat recline backwards like 30 meters and mine only goes back like 2 centimeters? Why? When you get unlucky and you get a seat that's near one of the washrooms on the plane. This is disgusting for many reasons. Number one, it smells really bad in the area all around you the entire time as soon as that first person uses the washroom. Secondly, there could be an old man watching you as they're waiting in that line for the washroom. He's just standing there and you're just being in your own little territory, listening to music, watching the little TV, or doing something, and then you look up and there's this old man waiting in line staring at you. Like, creepy! This one bothers me the most, even though it's my last point. Okay, so when you're sitting in front of a little kid in the airplane, oh my goodness, they just kick like there's no tomorrow, and they're just kicking and kicking and screaming and crying, and it's like, can you stop? And then your seat's just like going hardcore because they're kicking like crazy. like. Okay, here's a selfie of me and a little boy from my recent trip to San Francisco. I took a selfie with him because he was bothering me so much, I decided I had read about him on Facebook and Twitter. Thankfully, after I took the selfie, he and his mom noticed that I took it, so then they stopped because they were probably weirded out and probably thought I was a pedophile. Moral of the day, kids, if you're getting kicked on by some kid behind you in the airplane, just pretend to be a pedophile and start taking selfies with him. I guarantee he'll stop. Okay guys, that's it. If you have any other things that take you off about airplanes or airports, just comment down below and like the video and subscribe. Bye!